Starting off with my Suva Beauty Hydro Cream Base in the shade Pantyhose, I'm applying that all over my lid. I did add a drop of foundation to this so that it would spread easier. And setting that with MAC Long Type Shadow and this Real Techniques brush. Next with my Cosette S165 brush and my Morphe 35C palette. I'm taking the lightest pink in the palette and applying that all over my upper crease area as my transition shade. Next with my Cosette S175 brush and the next pink in the palette, I'm applying that to my crease and we're just adding a bit of dimension. Then with my Hakuhodo J5523 brush and this raspberry shade, I'm applying that to the crease. Again, we're adding definition and dimension. I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Just blending that out. And then with my Cosette S165 brush. And then I'm taking this other raspberry shade in the palette and applying that to the crease. Next with my Zoeva 231 brush and this darker uh, burgundy shade in the palette, I'm applying that directly to my crease and slightly on the outer corner and then blending that out with my Hakuhodo brush. And then blending that out with my Cosette S175 brush. Next with a small tapered brush and MAC nylon, I'm applying that to my brow bone. And with this flat paint brush, and from my 35U palette by Morphe, with this uh, shimmery maroon shade, I'm applying that to the outer corner of my eye. Then I sprayed some Fix Plus on this so that it would spread more smoothly and with my Zoeva 231 brush I am blending out the edge next to this Real Techniques detailer brush and MAC Pro Longwear concealer I'll be cutting out like half of my crease so this is a really great technique if you really want your lid shade to pop against the color in your crease. So I really love doing this technique. So I just continue to make that line really sharp and then I pull that concealer down onto the lid. Next with this Raspberry Shimmery Shade from the 35U palette, I'm applying that to more of the center of the lid so that the um, maroon transitions into what we're gonna apply on the inner third of the eye and I applied Fix Plus again and I'm, like, I'm using the same flat paint brush that I used before. Next with my e.l.f. concealer brush and this sparkly pink shade from the 35U palette, I'm applying that to the inner third of my eye and I did use Fix Plus on my brush. And then we're gonna go slightly over that other shade so that they transition well into each other. Then I'm picking up my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush and Kat Von D Exorcism Liquid Lipstick. And I'm using this for my wing. And 
then cleaning up that wing with a wipe and going in with my NYX HD concealer wand in porcelain and applying that all over my under eye area. With my Firma Beauty 203 concealer brush, I'll perfect the wing. Then with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, blend out all of the concealer on my under eye area. Go in and fix the tip of the wing. Then setting that with my NYX HG Translucent Finishing Powder and my Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. Then with another Zoeva 231 brush and the pink and the white in the 35U palette, applying that to the inner corner of my eye. First I was using the white and then I go in with the pink. Then with my other Zoeva 231 brush and the raspberry shade from the 35C palette, applying that to the lower lash line. Then with my Haku Holder brush, I am blending that out. Then with a different Haku Holder brush, this is the J144 and the shimmery maroon that we use in the outer corner of the eye, I'm applying that to the lower lash line near the roots of the lashes. Then with this pink lip pencil, I'm applying that to my waterline. Then tight lining my upper waterline with black. Curling my lashes. I applied mascara off camera and I am wearing House of Lashes Starlet Lashes. And I use their clear adhesive. I'm just applying them here. So you could leave the look like this, but I wanted to take it up a notch. So with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and these two brushes, well one's a stylus and one's a brush, I'm dotting on three dots and then I start making them into a heart. And this takes a bit of patience. <laughs> it's so hard to do. Hearts are like the hardest thing to draw anyway, so to put them on your eye. Then I'm going in with the brush and just making that more of a heart-like shape. And that's the finished look. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's super cute. And if you decide to recreate this, please tag me on Instagram at BeccaBoo318. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.